Hey everybody, it's Joanne at Artsy Light Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Specifically, how you Sagittarius are doing on your healing journey. Okay, so I will be using the Rider Weight deck and clarifying with the Rider Weight deck if I need to. So I have two riders here. And then I'm going to do a message from the Oracle, the Starseed Oracle, okay, for a final message from the universe in regards to your healing journey. Hope everyone's having a really good day. I'm super frustrated today, honestly. Um, really having to work hard to stay calm in the moment, um, but pushing through nonetheless because it's important that we do not let our emotions dictate everything, right? So, um, yeah. Very grateful for you guys for checking out this video. I ask that you like and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's do this, Sagittarius. Guardian angels, archangels, my spirit guides, I ask you to protect me in the highest of vibration as I channel the message for the Sagittarius collective, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. How is Sagittarius currently doing in their healing journey? How is Sagittarius currently doing in their healing journey? Because we're all healing from something. Healing or hiding, one or the other. So let's see what spirit has for you, Sagittarius. One more shuffle. How is Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the sign of Sagittarius? How are they doing in their healing journey? see what we got wheel of fortune so the wheel is always turning Sagittarius and it's in the upright so I'm intuitively feeling that there's um, a change of luck coming your way let's see what else we got page of Pentacles in the reverse so page is earth energy page represents Virgo again that is just um, not necessarily the person or sign you're dealing with, but it is the energy that is embodying this specific um, card for you, Sag. So it can be about um, receiving bad news is one connotation for this card. can also be about resisting making an investment into something. Okay, could feel like you're not grounded in regards to making a decision that I'm picking up so ace of pentacles right so missing out on an opportunity all right so I will clarify to get some more energy in regards to that card for you then we have the seven of pentacles in the reverse so more earth energy seven represents the Aquarius sign um, possibly a bad investment so so picking up that in the past, Sagittarius, you probably made some decisions and choices that left you financially um, in a hardship. Oh my goodness. <laughs> financially stuck. Okay. You probably made some bad investments or um, didn't take opportunities that could have led you to some tangible prosperity. Okay. But the Wheel of Fortune is the first card, the first message spirit is sending to you in regards to this journey and your and your luck is changing i really feel that for you okay so lots of earth energy right now <sighs> more earth okay so knight of pentacles in the upright knight is representing um capricorn energy so it's the slowest moving knight in the deck but it is one that is dependable, one that is worth putting energy into, one that is, like I trust this energy, right? So we've taken from the page to the night. So this is a this is showing your progress in, in worldly goods, right? Like, so you went from the page of pentacles in the reverse now into the knight of pentacles. So you flip this past situation and made it positive right so you're moving forward 
And like I said, when you've got that soul pentacle, it's the ace of pentacles, right? So a new opportunity that's going to be rooted into your future. So something that's going to be very rewarding and it's going to offer you and your family or those around you stability. Okay, so that's what I see for you, Sagittarius. Your, your wheel is definitely... Um, so the universe is bringing you new luck. And the universe is bringing it, but I also see that you're taking the necessary actions to rectify the things that possibly held you back in the past. Okay. I'm going to pull one more card here for your healing journey. And then the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh my goodness, this is like topsy-turvy for sure, right? We're going from the page in reverse to the knight in upright and then the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So feeling devastated, like out of control, not grounded, feeling like you have no stability in terms of your financial means. I'm gonna have to clarify and see how this all lines up together, honestly. But but the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that's in a in financial hardship, right? Or has been through financial hardship. So I just want to, I'm just gonna clarify and see if I can get some continuity amongst all of these cards here. But like heavy earth energy, right? So Sagittarius, I feel from these four cards here that you've gone through a lot of financial hardships, lots of up and down. I mean, we've just come out of a pandemic. Anyone that was financially independent definitely were taken, uh, were hit it, based on the circumstances of the pandemic, um, the markets, like there's so many factors right now that we're all experiencing in regards to our stability, right? Financial stability. But ultimately I feel the message from, from the universe is one of, change right so the wheel is always turning yeah you've gone through some shit for sure right I see that I'm feeling that you know but I also feel that you're not giving up and that you are being supportive and guided so energy at the bottom of the deck we have the devil all right so the devil is Capricorn energy so more earth um the devil can be representing lots of different things okay so i just want you to know that the devil is around us all and it's always around right so we all have fear we all have doubts we all have um past situations that made us feel less than or lack you know so because the devil is here it's always here it's what you choose to do in the presence of the devil that makes the difference right um, so I'm picking up intuitively, it could be um, negative thought processes. You know, you feel like you're in a rut and you're perpetually putting yourself in that position, right? You're letting that negativity um, become part of your regular thought process, okay? Um, it could be addictions also, could be codependency, like there's lots of different things that the devil represents. So take it how it resonates to you, Sagittarius, and how it's impacting your healing journey, right? Sometimes you need to go to the dark to get to the light, you know, and it's important that we embrace the dark parts of ourselves as well because we are human, we are faulted. And through the dark parts is where we we um, elevate ourselves when we learn our lessons and don't and stop repeating cycles, okay? So I just... Just because the devil is the overall energy, it may be a factor to why we're having so much of this back and forth. And I feel it's a lot to do with your own thought processes, okay? So we also have justice. So justice is a karmic making right of something, okay? Wheel of Fortune and justice is definitely showing me that this uh, the universe has your back, all right? So justice. And then... Quick movement, forward movement, eight of wands, communication, quick movement, forward action towards justice, okay? Yeah, so definitely 
um, some financial hardships, right? But you're letting go of that which failed you, all right? So that's the bottom of the deck energy. Some verification of some financial hardships. But definitely justice is coming for you, Sagittarius. All right, so I'm going to get some clarity on these cards. See what else Spirit has for us, okay? Guardian Angels, I ask you to help me clarify these cards for Sagittarius in this journey for healing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Four of Pentacles. Holding tight. So I feel like in conjunction with that devil energy that you may be holding on to some things. You know, it's um, you're, you're staying in a very lack mentality in regards to finance. And it's important that you let that go because when you're manifesting um, with that mentality of holding on to something, you're not allowing something new to come in, okay? So Spirit is telling you that they are changing your fortune, but you are holding tight, holding tight to negative thought patterns, okay? Again, like Six of Pentacles in the reverse, like lack mentality. You're definitely holding on to that not trusting your intuition, feeling out of control, unstable, okay? Clarify the wheel of fortune and the four of pentacles, please, for Sagittarius. A six of swords in the reverse could be holding on to the past. So another card, another energy of holding on. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up Sagittarius that it's super important that you let go of the past. Okay, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarify the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Spirit. What else do you have to tell me about the Page of Pentacles in the reverse? Um, page of Swords in the reverse. So Swords is air energy. The Page typically represents Gemini. Um, feeling uninspired feeling like you're not sure what direction or path to take. And this is internally, right? So that's 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 verifying this page of pentacles in the reverse. So you definitely were put in a in a situation where you weren't engaged possibly. Okay, let's see what else we got. Spirit, clarify further the Page of Pentacles in the reverse and the Page of Swords in the reverse, please. Page of Pentacles in the reverse and the Page of Swords in the reverse, please. Judgment and Seven of Wands. Okay, so Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so definitely getting that energy of holding on tight to something that's definitely coming up as the theme of this reading. Um, feeling judged and, and, and the need to defend yourself. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles in the reverse is being ver is clarified by the Page of Swords in the reverse, Judgment and the Seven of Wands. So feeling lack in regards to direction or ideas or inspiration, feeling not supported and feeling like you've had to defend yourself in some way. Spirit, clarify the seven of pentacles, please, in the reverse. What else do you have to tell Sagittarius about the seven of pentacles in the reverse? Wow, okay. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is clarified by the Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles in the reverse, and Seven of Swords. So the Six of Pentacles was at the bottom of your deck originally when I pulled. So again, this is an indication of lack or um, imbalance. So there was an imbalance in a soul connection. Um, could be financial balance, but could have been an imbalance in lots of different ways, right? So, um, and Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing. So you definitely were let down by a soulmate. And that could be somebody that you've um, had past lives with. 
not necessarily, but definitely someone that you've been, you were very connected to, someone that you shared a lot with, left you feeling imbalanced and, and screwed you over. Okay, Seven of Swords. Took off with some of the things that were, were yours, you know, and left you with the Two of Swords choice, you know. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling that you invested in something that didn't pan out, that didn't work out the way you wanted to. And it's because this person is not meant for you. This person is low vibration. Okay, I'm picking up Sagittarius that you are uh, a higher vibration energy. And the person that you're dealing with in the past is definitely not. Okay, so there's some protection. I'm really picking up some protection from the universe. It's just unfortunate that sometimes this takes a long time to work its way, to work itself out, okay? And it is impacting lots of things that are part of your everyday life. I feel that. All right, Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius and their healing journey spirit. What else can you tell me about the Knight of Pentacles, please? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So, so much earth energy, right? So, Ten of Pentacles is his definite confirmation of um, financial disparity, right? But I feel like this is past energy and the Knight of Pentacles is current energy, okay? So, picking up rebuilding from that which, you, which you've lost, but not all is lost, okay? Because you still have the drive, you still keep getting up, you know? And you're doing so in a way that's, in a way that's very grounded and stable and mature and balanced, right? So possibly in the past, you may have approached things too quickly, you know, jumped into things and, and from not taking your time and, and setting up a good foundation, you know, you ended up in a relationship that was imbalanced and, and someone, you know, someone treated you unfairly, unfortunately, and that puts you in the 10 of pentacles in the reverse. Spirit, can you clarify the Knight of Pentacles further with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse? Two of Swords in the reverse, so air energy. Two represents Libra, so it's making a decision, right? So making a decision, setting it in your mind, being very determined to make change. Make change in a way that's tangible, in a way that's going to offer security, stability. This decision's going to bring forward the light, the light that's meant for you, okay? You're going to see things clearly, happy, good energy. You're not letting this die, okay? You have been hurt, but you're taking the three of swords. You're making a decision to move forward in a way that's going to bring stability and security. Okay, so I want to see what's, what the queen of pentacles in the reverse is here for. Spirit, clarify the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Clarify the queen of pentacles in the reverse, please. Uh, page of wands okay so wands is air um, fire energy pages representing you Sag okay Sagittarius card so you don't automatically go from this to the king of wands or the king of pentacles okay that's not an an instant transition but you are in the upright okay you are showing um, I just want you to take a look at the wand here. You've got some um, new growth on the wand. I feel that's representing you and your journey in this healing journey. You're growing. 
you're standing upright, you're looking for new inspiration, okay? You're looking for that which is meant for you. And you're looking up. See how he's looking up? You're looking up. So yeah, you've been in a bad situation, Sagittarius. And maybe for a while, you know? But that could be due to many, many different um, variables, right? So like a soul connection is definitely showing up as one that was not what it was meant to be or what you thought it was going to be. Um, having to defend yourself, you know, having to protect yourself. And I feel like you're ho you've been holding on to that for a long time. Okay. And spirit is letting you know that you need to release that. Because things are looking up for you, Sagittarius. Really feel that. Four of Wands, stability, victory, celebration, all beautiful things that I feel are coming for you. Okay. So I'm going to get one more card here now for advice from the Starseed Oracle. Okay. Spirit, I want you to give Sagittarius one parting advice. What's one message that you would like Sagittarius to know? What's the one message that you have for the person that needs this most? For someone that's been through a lot, but has got the courage and the bravery to stand up and look for what that which is meant for them. Forge, don't follow. Sagittarius doesn't follow. <laughs> but forge, pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Because you are a leader, Sagittarius, for sure. All right, so hopefully this message resonated with you. I ask that you like and subscribe to my channel and let's connect again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.